Brian, you discovered. What did you call it, Papa? The land of opportunity. The land of opportunity. Let me watch that. Where are we going, baby girl? Nana's, Nana's house. What did you bring with? Your purse? What's in there? People in a bow. People in a bow. And your beautiful picture you're going to give to Nana. It's very sweet. And Grampy. Good morning, guys. It's 100 mile garage sale day. Almost as exciting as State Fair Day for us. San has not been to the 100 mile garage sales. I went the first time with my dad last year, but San is off today. So the girls are going to Nana's. And my dad, San, and I are going to go do a bunch of garage sailing. want to just mention if you follow us on Instagram you would probably know that um, my dad had a very bad accident this week so I honestly there were a couple hours there where I thought I may never go garage sale with my dad again he you guys will see he he does construction and carpentry and stuff and he was building a steel shed um, and there was a hundred or a 60 foot steel beam basically fell off the forklift and for lack of better explanation, it scalped him, um, quite literally. Thankfully, he, I mean, it was just his skin. They, it was all there, they could sew him back up. And he fractured his skull in two places, right around his eye, so his eye is very swollen. But he had no brain damage, no bone damage under the, other than the fractures, he's fine. He went home that night, so um, yeah talk about a miracle and the girls and I drove up to be with him because he was two hours away of course um, and my mom and I were pretty freaked out because we didn't know anything except that she should get in the car and drive right now so miracle praising the Lord because seriously I don't know how he not only survived that but um, was able to go home that night so nothing would stop that man from going garage sailing so He's coming. Hopefully he'll be okay. He's been moving around a lot. He said he's been resting up and getting his strength back so he can go garage sailing. So we're pretty excited. We are full garage sale mode, guys. I haven't bought too much stuff yet. See how it goes. Well, guys, thankfully it's been like a gorgeous day out perfect day for garage sailing um sarah's gotten some books and some some clothes for the girls um sarah's dad has picked up some clothes and some books too for himself i have been kind of picky about what i've been wanting to look for um but that's all right you know this is just more about having fun and enjoying the day and enjoying the company of you know my loved ones and stuff like that so we'll keep you posted <laughs> you made a pit stop top? got some keto snacks good breakfast sausage we got the almonds, these are super good. Sriracha, go all the way down. It's really good. And I've been wanting to try these guys, the wasabi and soy sauce one, so we'll see how that goes. Making some progress, guys. Let's say we're doing well. My dad got his welding hat he's been looking for to cover up. Take it off while it's gonna show. So that's the damage. And his eyes looking better, but yeah, he wants something lighter weight, but that will protect his head and not scare too many people more than his face already scares them. <laughs> so guys, wrapping up garage sales. This is where um, he got his accident. Um, he is, this is out in Tor. Went to, pick up his car. went to pick up his car. It's in right there. Um, but this is the thing that he got smacked with, I guess. I guess. Um, I guess it's really easy to mess with the buttons and configurations and joysticks on this machine. So what happened was this came tumbling down. Well, no, I don't think it or came something. Tumbling, or something. Or something happened. Whacked him just whacked him really good and I guess this is but they were where it up happened. Up yeah. And this is what they were doing. Building. There. Yeah. Buses. Can you imagine something like I this? Don't know how he 
survived yeah. that. Yeah, lucky guy. We're heading home. What did Celia find? What are those? Swimming shoes. Do they fit you? Yep. Yep. And look at all this stuff. <laughs> A lot of stuff. You what? They're very cool. I like them. <laughs> Were you a good girl for Nana? Yeah. Yeah. And she was a good helper for Nana. And Bryony took bottles. Thank goodness. And they took naps. So we're heading home and then we'll show you guys what we got. So we're home and hot and sweaty, but I just thought I'd quickly share with you guys what we got without talking too much. Um, I got a bunch of like movies. They had good prices on like pretty much brand new movies. Dance party wiggles for the daycare. This is a movie I loved growing up. We are back. Um, Celia loves Charlie Brown. And then this movie, um, I've been wanting to see. It has an elf named Bryony in it, so uh, I thought that'd be fun to watch this Christmas time. I love to stock up on kids' books at garage sales, so I just got a whole bunch, including one about sisters, which I thought was cute. Some other like memorable things I got. I love this white like, I guess you could call it milk glass pedestal thing. I want to put some chunky, I don't know if I'm gonna do industrial or what, um, wooden shelves above our buffet in our dining room and my dad's gonna be making me a farmhouse table for my birthday coming up. So um, I thought this would look really good on it. Maybe with something on it, even like flowers or something. So that was really cute and really unique. I really love it. It's no chips or anything two dollars the rest of my goodies were mostly clothes for the girls for Celia dress for Christmas some shorts for Celia for these are all 40 for next year and some jammies for Celia next year and a leotard because she's in dance class now for Bryony I told myself I wouldn't try to buy her stuff but it's just hard their birthdays are six months off. Celia was in February, Bryony's in September, so all of Celia's like summer clothes, Bryony should have already worn, and so all of her clothes she's growing into are like winter clothes of Celia. So anyway, I got these boots for this upcoming winter for Bryony. But yeah, I got a 4T coat for Celia for next year. And then just some pants for Bryony, a little outfit jammies, a swimsuit, cardigan, cute chambray romper, a little hat. I just did a different haul and if I already posted it I'll link it below but basically I went to Just Between Friends sale and I got Celia basically the same red legging jeans, um, not leggings. Uh, skinny jeans for Celia for um, in 4T and these are 18 to 24 months so Bryony will be the in this size when Celia wears 4T so they can match. I just thought that was so cute. Another romper for Bryony for this summer and then I saw this little outfit. This will fit Bryony next Easter. I just thought that was so cute. And then I also picked up some stuff for myself. Um, just this like fleece for the colder months like this fall. I wanted just like a really loose fitting comfy sweatshirt so I, this is just like a navy blue one. Some shorts, these are Abercrombie, I thought they were cute, hopefully they'll fit. And then mostly just shirts for daycare, just some like loose fitting tees, stripey. thought this color looks really good on me so I just thought it'd be cute. Can't go wrong with twins shirt in Minnesota. It's probably way too big, but be good like jammy shirt. A workout shirt for like when I go walking or jogging. And then I just thought this was really cute for the summertime or the Christmas time. So that's all my stuff. So let's jump in and look at sand stuff. All right, guys. I was on the lookout for a unicorn today, a vintage Weber kettle, any color, whatever, doesn't matter. Someday I'll find it. Anyway, I'll jump into my stuff. Zippo butane refill. I got a butane lighter, just to light whatever. Candles, um, smoking stuff, whatever. Or a lot of polos. Some reason we get like grease stains 
on our shirt whenever we wash if our clothes. If this happens to you guys, I don't even know where it comes from. Yeah, we like, don't they weren't know. on our there's shirt no originally. There's no pens, markers, lipstick, chapstick, But we randomly get these there. dark splotches yeah, on our clothes. Yeah, and that's at all the houses we've been at. Yeah, wherever. randomly. Yeah. Just randomly. So, just and let I, us know if there's a remedy If you know cause. how to get them out after yeah. the fact. So, um, an express men's polo. A, and... Can, I like t-shirts, graphic tees, so this is just, this is an Obey brand tee, love it. This is a an extra large um, Dickies, like Carhartt style jacket, like it's textured like that, and like it's really, really insulated, really heavy duty. Gonna use this mostly for snow blowing, you know, so it doesn't have to be super fitted like another jacket that I'll wear casually to work or out, or whatever like that. Um, let's see, oh yeah, got chair covers for the patio chairs outside. I know it's it's a square one, but I think it'll fit because this is pretty big. Got a good deal on that. Like for smoking cheeses and stuff, they had these these little pellet thing, uh, smoking thingies that you fill um, pellets, smoking pellets with on this end, and you light it with a butane torch. And um, I got a bag of these. These are only like seven, eight bucks. I got all this bag of pellets, plus these two smoking tubes. These are normally like 20. This is about 15 for about five bucks. Got a really good deal. Um, it creates smoke and stuff like that without any heat, so you can smoke cheese, um, whatever you want with that. It's pretty awesome. You guys know that, like, I, we have a home gym. Um, finally found a nicer pair of like adjustable dumbbells that you can screw off um, these ends and stuff like that and adjust them as you want. I have plastic ones that have fallen apart and I just, it's just been about time to replace them. Um, if you guys don't know us, uh, when we got married, I wore a pair of red Vans. Vans are really special um, brand to me, shoes. Um, these were also $5. These are a half in, half size bigger than a normal wear, but they fit really well. Anyway, and I just really like the coloring. Can't go wrong with that. And another pair of boots. These are supposed to be a really good brand too. These are Sorel boots. Um, these are going to be new, my new winter boots. It's not blowing and whatever outside in the frigid Minnesota winters. And finally, we want to go camping sometime this summer, I think. Um, that's a plan at least. And we got a really good condition um, Coleman cam stove. I'm not sure how old it is, but it's like in really good shape. Looks pretty cool. It's in, I don't know, got this for five bucks as well too. So guys, that was everything. Um, I'd say overall it was a good trip. We yeah. did have to go get my dad's car, so we had to kind of cut this short, cut the garage ceiling short because his car was still at the scene of the accident yeah. so we had to go get it to help him drive it back since uh he still can't open his left eye but um i did want to find some like daycare items like outdoor toys and stuff but those are always hard to find so but i feel good i'm you know stocking up on celia's 4t clothes i kind of overdid it with Bryony clothes I have a hard time with that um but I, i'd say overall we had a good time what do yeah you think? it was a long day it was beautiful it was it's hot so nice though it was like Very 80s hot. here which okay i noticed some of you that's not hot but we literally had a snowstorm two, two weeks, weeks ago. ago we had two giant snowstorms yeah, two weeks like ago so like 20 20 degrees yeah last so like two weeks ago so 80s is gonna take some time to adjust to but mm -hmm. it was gorgeous the grass is so green i was yeah, just like our grass looks great without it's it even so pretty seeding it like finally, finally. so yeah. yeah i hope you guys enjoyed let us know if you guys have been doing some garage sailing or thrifting and any good finds you've found so far and let us know if you want to see more vlogs yeah. from us and we will see you guys soon and let us know if there's a hundred mile or massive garage yeah, sale you guys, you guys go to or area? do you guys like garage sailing or you know leave some tips or down below in the comments what do you guys call it in the from? comments and stuff like that so yeah, yeah. thanks guys bye